Hello, I'm Les McLaughlin, and this is the story of the Northwest Mounted Police. The Yukon in the mid-1800s was, as Robert Service found it some years later, a land to behold from the big dizzy mountains that screen it to the deep death-like valleys below. It was untamed, unclaimed territory. The native population went about their business trapping and hunting, living like nomads, following the powerful caribou herds. In August of 1896, more gold was discovered in the Yukon. Not small traces that men had been finding for years, but sizable nuggets and accessible too. Commander, we have a report that three men have drowned at the Five Finger Rapids. They didn't know how to navigate. They didn't stand a chance, sir. Steele knew this would happen. A law had to be put into place. For your own good, you'll construct your boats to meet our safety standards. Any boat that's not seaworthy will not be allowed in the river. Before the frenzied arrival of thousands and thousands of would-be prospectors, mainly dreamers, policing the Yukon was easy. After the cry of gold, everything was different. 